police officers in the hospital. Sambo here, your online b-boy coach. Blasting through your brain like a train. Now give me five push-ups. And welcome everyone here to this tombstone tutorial. So the tombstone windmill has its obvious name from the form of the legs that kind of look like a tombstone, I guess. Kind of like the turtle that kind of looks like a turtle, I guess. These names, man. So before starting with a tombstone windmill, you want to be able to do a normal windmill, of course. Besides that, if you can go from a windmill to a head spin, you will have und über advantage on learning the tombstone windmill. So if you need help with these moves, then just head on over to my YouTube channel because I have tons of tutorials, including these moves. And if you realize these are the best breaking tutorials on the net, then you can hit subscribe right here so you can stay up to date on all the new videos that will release. And if my calculations are correct, by the year 2022, I will have more than two 200 tutorials online. Yes. Also, after subscribing, you can stay up to date on all my tips and news that I share on my community tab. And if you want to book me for workshops and classes, then just head on over to my website. So the tombstone usually starts to take shape after a few weeks of practice. But by using the techniques in this video in combo with your brain, you can speed up that process. Using the methods I will show you today, I have seen kids do two or three tombstones in just one practice. So pay really good attention during this video and watch it again after two or three practice sessions because there are always new details you will discover each time you watch these videos. The first step is doing a windmill with a leg pump to replace our baby freeze with a headstand. This is where the windmill to head spin transition is needed. To be able to do this effortlessly, you need that good, clear, and clean leg pump. I'm pulling my legs in when I'm on my back and then opening the legs back up each time I'm on my head. Use your hands as much as you need them to make this work. When performing it multiple times, you need a consistent rhythm. The legs go in and open, in and open, in and open open. Bringing the legs in after each round regenerates speed while opening up on the head gives us the time to properly stand on our head for that brief moment. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Just kidding. We're not there yet. We're not doing a tombstone yet. I'm just trolling you, right? Chill out, bro. But this windmill is the variation we need to slowly evolve into the tombstone. You actually just get this windmill variation for free on the house, free of charge. It's all on me. And the tombstone windmill is actually also for free. So hit that like button because it's all for free. The second step is shaping the tombstone form. Let's take a good look at the headstand position we are using at the moment. For the tombstone form, you want to point your legs forwards to the front in a low angle. Make sure your legs stick together to really get that nice form. Need help on headstands? Tutorials. While we are on our back, we want to keep the leg pump, but performing the same leg pump with closed legs. You might notice that by doing this, we are bending our legs briefly during our tombstone. But this is the fastest way to unlock this move. Trust me. So if you slowly start to practice the tombstone this way, you'll actually see results pretty fast. But the main issue here with most people is coordination. Coordination, as they would say in French. It will feel really unnatural when you're learning this for the first time. And that's where your brain comes into play. And don't forget, keep using those hands to keep the move going. So this is the exercise you want to push the most. Get this technique downloaded into your CPU ASAP. Because once you start to get comfortable in this, you start to unlock the technique to actually generate speed. And if you just keep using your hands, this will become really, really easy. And this is what you want to start working for because this actually becomes a usable tombstone for combos or rounds. So the third step is implementing this technique until you start to let go of those hands. If the legs perform well, it should be more than enough bounce for you to stand on your head when needed. To get an even better form, you want to try and tap those feet when you're standing on your head. And as you can see, it starts to look pretty bellissimo. So this is a pretty good tombstone already for you to use, but the next step is how to get that real tombstone without bending the knees. So for the final stage, we are going to try and keep our legs stretched throughout all phases of the tombstone. At this point, the bounce has to come from the hips while still keeping the same core technique as the first steps we have been through. 
hips in when you're on your back, legs forward when you're on your head. Make sure you contract those legs at all times to keep those legs as straight as possible. So this is the fastest road I have found towards a tombstone windmill. When you practice the tombstone windmill, make sure you have a hit spin beanie, a good sweater, or even a windbreaker to protect yourself from the floor. So I'm really looking forward to see your tombstones and your tombstone progression. Send me your practice videos to my Instagram so I can give you feedback and just, you know, watch you guys evolve. If you have any questions about the tombstone windmill, then drop them in the comments below. And also let me know what tutorials you would like to see next because Coach Sambo is at your service. And be honest, this was a pretty good tutorial, right? So if you agree, just spam the comment section and smash the like button because all of that will give this video exposure so I can help more people out. And don't forget to check out bazillions of other tutorials I have on my YouTube channel. This is your boy Coach Sambo, your online b-boy coach, giving you the best b-boy and breaking tips online. Because at the end of the day, when you think about it, it's all about that b-boy shit.